Happy New Year! In today's clip, I'll be making some uh, quantifiable predictions on the stock market and the world at large. I mean, part of the fun of having a small channel is simply that I have zero weight of expectations. So let's start with some real predictions and see if I'm a genius or a dud later on. <laughs> hey, old Zenpuck here. Another day, but in a different year. Amazing. After 2020, nowhere to go but up, right? So, I'll be making my predictions on what uh, will happen in 2021 and claiming prophetic powers when I'm proven right or having a good laugh at myself uh, when I'm proven wrong. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you agree or disagree with anything I'm about to say. Prediction number one, stock market. Uh, I'm going to go with it'll be up at least 25%. I'm going to use the S&P 500 as my standard of judgment here. Well, what I'm saying is it'll be up 25% at some point in a year, so to make my prediction numeric and yet somewhat more contextual. I mean, I don't think this one's that hard to guess. The market was up uh, a bit, I, I would say, in 2020 despite, uh, despite a once-in-a-century pandemic. So now that we're on the recovery part of the arc, I'm positive it'll be rosy news for uh, at least a year on average. Okay. Prediction number two. The discourse in the media will become less divided. I think this one is also pretty easy to guess, okay? After all, the orange douche will finally be gone. And as much as he'll still be saying completely idiotic things off to the sides, the mainstream media can finally afford to, uh, you know, simply ignore him. I'm curious, though, to see how Fox News will do in the post alternative reality world okay or maybe they'll just change their name to you know fox olds to really reflect both their audience and the fact that they don't actually report what would commonly be referred to as you know news uh prediction number three i expect corona the beer to change their primary product's name okay this has to happen in 2020 product change names for uh, politically correct reasons, right? But uh, for Corona, the beer, the reason would be existential, okay? Don't know about you, but I can't wait to watch a Washington football team game while drinking a generic Mexican cerveza in 2021. Okay, that's my best guess what Corona will be renamed, of course. <laughs> Prediction number four. Uh, restaurants and travel-related industries will somehow survive and revive, after all. This one isn't that bold either. I mean, come on. You and I all feel the pent-up desire to go out and actually do something whenever it's safe to do so. I mean, while many smaller restaurants will fall, okay, the beauty of capitalism lies with the ability uh, for others to come in and take the place of the fallen, and the end of the pandemic will be no different. Same with airlines and oil and other such uh, travel-related in industries, okay? Americans saved more in 2020 uh, because there's no place to spend the money. Okay? When the floodgates open back up, people will forget about saving quicker than an auto dealership will proclaim that you can get a new car with 0% interest for 12 months, okay? Or any other such gimmicks to get Americans back in debt where we're all comfortable. Prediction number five. HBO Max will get at least 30 million subscribers by the end of 2021. I mean, I couldn't believe that its subscription numbers are only 12 million by the end of uh, 2020, compared to already 80 million for Disney+. Plus. So I'll go out, uh, go out on a limb and say at least 30 million, because HBO slash Time Warner's library uh, for content is pretty decent, okay? And they will be releasing actual movies on the platform uh, this year, 2021. Compare that to how Disney Plus did dirty with the Mulan launch, I see no reason why HBO Max can't catch up a bit, okay? Now, why the random prediction on one streaming service, you ask? Um, obviously because I have a lot of free time and watch a lot of stupid shows on the internet, so this is what I know, so I talk about what I know. Anyway, again, Hope you're having a great and happy new year. And I have to say, thanks for the support on my humble beginnings of a YouTube channel. Now go check out some of my other videos on the corners. Cheers. Have a great day.